Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out at a little local DIY spot here in town. I actually come across this spot a few months ago, but I was hesitant to build anything here because um, I didn't know what it was going to be like and since then I kind of left it and then one of the other local skaters of the area actually built a little uh, raised curb ledge here thing. I'll show you guys real quick. Check it out. Pretty sure the top part is like a hand poured circle curb thing and uh, it's glued down to some cinder blocks really nice length and then you got a bank here to kind of allow yourself some pop to get onto this thing I board slid it um, currently trying to work out how to blunt slide this because I just learned how to blunt slide there's also a really fun two stair here you got one this side you've got a little kicker ramp here that goes over this wooden beam thing Another little two stair a little bit of space to skate around and there's the uh, cinder block curved raised ledge thing thingamajig and then this section here has a little curb that eventually would be cool I guess I could I could rob brick it and then paint it that'd be a really cool slappy curb and you have all this free space here too I wasn't planning on filming a YouTube video here today I just wanted to come here and skate and get some tricks but I figured while I'm here and I have the time I'm gonna try to push myself to make a video so that's what we're doing right now but yeah I'm gonna warm up again well I'm already warmed up but I'm gonna try to get a board slide on this thing and then get a few goes at blunting the end of it maybe if I'm keen I'll hop on from from the kicker to blunt it but we'll see how we go I told myself I would try it and I did so you know I'm gonna move on to something else I'm gonna try maybe get some tricks over this wooden thing off the kicker or into the kicker Has just rolled in I might be getting the boot the police just rolled down the street did a Yui and now they're stopped in the middle of the road down there so I don't know if they're gonna circle back and tell me to get out or if I'm uh, hidden amongst the wilderness here fingers crossed we can uh, keep this session going I've been having fun so this is the second day I've skated these Converse uh, I did glue them up before I skated them but as you can see I've already popped a lace on these things in comparison these compared to the Jack Purcells, the Jack Purcells feel way better. Um, I just got these again, I don't know why. It's just harder to find the Jack Purcells now. I don't think they make them anymore, but honestly, like I'd prefer Jack Purcells over these, but I'm just gonna skate these until they get all flat and mushy, then I can't skate them again. Comment down below if you want a review on how these skate. I've been skating these for years, so let me know. When I was like seven years old, six, seven years old, my dad would drive me up to the football field up the road because uh, there was like a two stair similar to this that I used to just acid drop off. There was a two stair and then there was like a one stair. So there's a two stair here, right there. And then there's a little 
curb to drop off here. The skating a little two stair again is kind of bringing me back to uh, that nostalgic feeling. Literally just doing this. It was a two stair and I couldn't ollie yet, so I'll just go. I wouldn't hit the bottom step and then it was a one stair, so I'll just kind of acid drop off it. As you can see, this spot has a lot of potential. I mean, even with this here and then this, it's already fun. I reckon some transition here up to the wall would be sick. So at Zach Dowdy, I'm talking to you, my friend. We should get one of those pre, uh, pre-poured little pieces of transition you can just install and skate. That'd be dope. A baby hubba would be really cool here, like on this side here maybe. So you can like hit it from here to there. I'm not too sure how to build a hubba, but um, it'd be dope. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't really planning on making a video today, but I was like, I might as well. I'm at this spot, the weather's good. Got to go back to work tomorrow. So I'm trying to get in the most on my days off. So then I got more videos to upload for you guys. Really trying to get to 25K on YouTube. So shouts out to all the new subscribers and uh, shouts out to the day one. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Help me get to that 25K road mile, road mark. I don't know what you would call it. Also, I've been skating this FA board. It's a Kevin Bradley Pro model. Um, the graphics kind of already gone, but I've got the evening grip on it and uh, it's sick. I kind of placed it wrong in a way but it kind of worked out. G comes kind of close to the edge here, but it still looks cool. If you haven't checked out the Evening Mob website yet, head on over to eveningmob.com, pick up some grip tape, pick up a t-shirt. I think I'm gonna do some more shirts soon, maybe the hoodies, I don't know. What do you guys think would be cool to build here? Maybe even to hover against this wall here. You just clean out all this stuff, put it here so you can hit it backside. One here too, so you can hit it front side, transition um rub brick this curb get it slappyable maybe a flat bar somewhere that'd be cool but yeah shouts out to swashbuckler for installing this bad boy ton of fun i tried to get a feeble on it but i was just scared same with the backside 50 50 maybe one day i often think that when i'm by myself trying to make a video it's a bit less punchy i guess because it's just a camera on a tripod type of thing like i don't have another person with me skating and filming but uh let me know if you guys like these kind of videos someone mentioned one time i can't remember whose video was on but they mentioned the old tripod i think it was dan's channel someone commented on dan's channel saying that the tripod footage was cool because it was kind of kind of personal in a way i don't know if that makes sense but yeah there's a hella bunch of blow flies out here this is the first few flies i've seen in california but it is coming into summer so you know as expected blow flies in summer you know when you have a good session skateboarding and you get the endorphins afterwards. Especially if it's like this time of the day where there's a sunset behind me, check it out. Um, it's my favorite time of day. A lot of people don't know why I chose evening for the name of like my brand, air quotes. Um, it's because literally days like this, like I came out this afternoon, I skated, I had a really good session, I had fun. Dolphins are kicking in now and there's a beautiful sunset behind me as we come into the evening time. So that's why I picked evening. Yeah, I'm really happy to be out here skating and being able to make content and connect with like-minded individuals and have a good time. Like I feel so happy and blessed. I wake up in the morning. I have no injuries. I have energy to skate. I have time to skate. It's good. I have you guys that are watching the videos that are, hopefully you guys are stoked on this channel, you know? So thank you. Thank you to you guys and thank you to skateboarding. I feel like, you know, when someone gets drunk and then the, the uh, truth comes out, I feel like I'm spilling my guts here, even though I'm completely sober. I just feel literally happy to be skating. And yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Probably sounds stupid, but yeah, thanks. Probably gonna wrap it up here, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to get to 25K. And yeah, check out eveningmob.com. Support your local evening mob. But until next time, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Like you